everybody, it's Sage 99 and uh, this is Milk Outside a Bag of Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. Uh, this is the sequel to a game I played a little while ago uh, called Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. And so uh, I figured uh, I might as well um, finish the series since I uh, already played the first game. So yeah, let's just get into it. That was, uh, that was a pretty nice uh, animated intro. Uh, somebody took animation class. And it really shows. <laughs> Alright. New game, because I don't have anything, any previous games, so I don't know why it would be continued. I don't even know why that's an option. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm what? <clears throat> All right, off to a good start. Uh, <laughs> already dying. All right, I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Okay. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls and the ceiling. Uh, these shadows don't look that playful. They look more like they want to murder you. <laughs> One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to get uh mom told me to go to bed. Okay, so uh, right after the first game where we saw the uh, horrible abomination that was Mother. So, uh, yeah, probably best not to uh, make her mad. <laughs> I walk past the kitchen on my way to the room. The door is shut, but I can still feel, uh, feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. Alright. I do have to say the uh, pixel art is a lot better in this one uh, so far, even though it's only been like two different drawings. Uh, it's, it's a lot clearer and uh, e easier to read. Ah, that's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpse in our kitchen. Uh, that makes me think that there is a corpse in your kitchen. Um, <laughs> I know for sure that I've never had any corpses. Uh, that you definitely have a corpse in the kitchen. You're, you're definitely Ed Gein or somebody who has just turned somebody into a, a lamp and is has it in their kitchen. Um, <laughs> I'm absolutely sure of that. I break into a run and dash towards the closest door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. They're trying to stop me or calm me down. I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying uh, pursuers. But then I suddenly realize that I wouldn't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door now. If there's somebody inside, I'd surely scare them to death. But wait, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? Okay, so yes, there is a corpse in your kitchen, we get it, okay? What if it actually uh, revives them? No, 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 I don't want that. And <laughs> What do I do? I don't want the corpse of the person I stabbed to come back and haunt me. <laughs> I couldn't fully uh, complete my thought uh, when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Okay, uh, we have the ultra detailed version of the death screen from last game. <laughs> I expected there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of milk I brought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back, nothing happens. <laughs> Although what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? 
a bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf in the store or on the kitchen table in my mom's house. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from its uh I took it from the safest place in the world and into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk towards my room through a narrow corridor. Oh, hi there. Hi, Mom. Okay. I don't like... Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the flashes of seeing Mom's body, like, actual body. I meet a familiar, uh, formless creature at the door. It locks me in the clutches, uh, in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. Mm. Ooh, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not struggling, I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. Hello, Mom. I still don't like you. It's, I still really don't like you. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again? I start. I stare questioningly, uh, questioningly, into the mother, uh, into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. I'm not moving. Did you? I'm not moving, but nothing's happening, so I think I have to. <laughs> The creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging. Mm. I don't like that. And I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I've promised so many times. Stay put. That's quite a long finger you have. I... Um, is that going inside my arm? I... Um, I don't like that. The moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely disconcernable crawling under my skin and the ring of the tightly sprung sinews. But then... Then the claw injects its venom in, into me. It hurts. <laughs> A white vial appears in front of my eyes. My fingertips cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like the last time. But... Hmm, I don't like this at all. I, 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 don't, I don't like this. I, I still... I don't like Mom. M mom... Mom, worst character. I... I fuck you, Mom. <laughs> Why, why do I feel so hot? <laughs> I feel like my blood is boiling. Strong shivers run throughout my body, paralyzing every single cell, while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but uh, instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Kill me. Hysterical screams resonate throughout the corridor. In a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. 
Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with loud sounds. I tried to imprint uh, where every drop fell in my memory so I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need. A new wave of pain washes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. Say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. You know? I don't think I will. <laughs> I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. <laughs> I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. Oh, hello. Oh, we have color now. Well, more colors than just red, various shades of red. That's cool. I like that. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the other side don't make me anxious at all. Or maybe it's just all the drugs that Mom gave me. Thanks, Mom. Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I've washed my face, and now I'm standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. Cool. <laughs> I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. You know, me too. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dreams, dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived throughout the day for it. My biggest dream was it uh, was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool. But the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away. As if somebody fished them out of my head, one after another, one after the other, until nothing was left. And now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. After finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work. Uh, how they work separately, since I've always swallowed them as a bunch without thinking. Now I want to have a better look into it. To twirl it between my fingers. To chew on it. <laughs> I don't have anything to stall for, just a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film, but I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder, and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright red liquid pours out. Filthy. Filthy. The pill flies straight to the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. There's no way I'm drinking that. <laughs> I 
Next was a flat pill of some blood red color. There was some letters printed on it. Oh, I get it. I think I get it too. All the pills are filled with blood. Yay, fun, spooky. This, uh, this is the medication that makes me really sleepy. But it's not the type of sleep I want. It's not, it's not I'd, at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I, I don't even want to look at it. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> the pill flies in the waste bin as well. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides. I find it, uh, and I find a uh, reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medication instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in the healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hands don't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to somebody right away. <laughs> yes, uh, not taking medication. Definitely good advice. That's not good advice. Don't, don't, don't listen to that. <laughs> but not to my mom. She'll just scold me. I, I, I think your mom will do more than scold you. Um. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She's sure I'm already sleeping anyways. Uh, I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder who's going to be my conversation partner. It didn't break the fourth wall this time, so... Oh, okay, nope. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Oh? Oh, I have to click this. That's interesting. Hey, long time no see. Well, this is a lot different than the last game. <laughs> well, I guess it's like a proper uh, visual novel now. Huh. That's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> it hasn't even been an hour, dummy. You know, we're only supposed to meet once per day, right? Uh, I don't know. Let's do the playful one. There you go, bullying me again. Great. I love it when my own brain bullies me. It's so fun. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? Okay, we could just go straight down the, uh, the bully path again, or we can, um, be, be nicer. Um, considering I don't want to get a game over, uh, because I, I didn't like when that happened in the last game, um, eh, I guess we, well... I'm probably gonna have to go back and do that anyways, just to see what happens. So I guess we might as well try and try and get it right now. No, well then I'm not happy either. <laughs> Need to go to bed. No, you've been you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now, all right? I'll just stay silent until the medication's effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about it? In reality, I don't need you at all. Hmm? I'm so energetic, I feel great. Which means I can do anything, and you? You can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. 
<laughs> I can imagine how angry you are right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm all beside myself. What made you so happy all of a sudden? Uh, let's go with this one. Why would I be sad? Remember uh, yourself uh, a couple of hours ago? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay. Nuh uh. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Whatever, unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic, pathetic snotty girl for a long time. <laughs> okay, wow, I, the brain's becoming really mean. <laughs> and it's even meaner than the last game. <laughs> she just whines and whines all the time. <laughs> don't even try to ruin my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now? Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. I... Am I really that pathetic? <laughs> Say something. I could feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling to my... Uh, falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face. Then we'll decide what to do with you. I'm in front of the mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery uh, looks the walls are giving me, trying not to drown in their giggling. But then me in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile, bears her teeth at me. I shut my eyes. But that doesn't help. Wouldn't have helped even if I snuck through the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared by... Uh, two squared, two by two squared. A square squared. A square pyramid <laughs> squared. A primordial structure cubed. A, oh, a pyramidal... Uh, Pyramidal structure cubed? I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, a pyramidal uh, structure hypercubed. I feel better. But my head is splitting apart now. How do you feel or sorry for being rude? Um... I don't think it really matters. Uh, I don't think there's like a branching path uh, in this, so I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna. I'm gonna be nicer now. So sorry for being rude. It's not really your fault. It's never your fault. Fine. You can keep blaming it on yourself, but don't overdo it. I. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something, after all. I was able to buy milk, you know. Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. Is that why you threw away the medication? What a stupid decision, right? Undoubtedly, whatever, it was your decision. Uh, I mean... 
not taking meds is a bad idea, so I'm just going to say undoubtedly. And there's a still, there's a good side to it. Moreover, it's dangerous. I, yeah, I really can't endorse that, so let's, uh, yeah, it's dangerous. I know. <laughs> and you keep pushing me. Then why did you do that? I feel like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true, the pain subsided for a bit at the time, but now I feel triple in force. It hurts so bad. Just drink your stupid medication already. I'll stop talking to you. You know what to do. Oof. That one sounds bad. Um... I, I guess you know what to do. Dejected. I reached out for the shelf with my medication. I saw all the pills one after the other, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lots of uh, colligated blood and transparent coating travel through my esophagus, scratching its surface walls, leaving behind furrows. Also, sorry if I keep kind of messing up reading this. My mic is actually partially obstructing the text box, so <laughs> it makes it a little difficult to read. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsening or worsens my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries so much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it with my mouth. floor. I look at the ceiling. I can clearly hear water running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. But I'm not afraid of it at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's reaching its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. What do you want then? I just want to lay down for a bit. Even if the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't be today. <laughs> We're nothing. Uh, let's comment on the ceiling. Let's keep talking. Why not? Can't you stay silent, please? Okay. Well, I mean, a couple of minutes ago, you didn't want me to stay silent, so... Oops. Alright, I need to get my thoughts in order. Did we actually go to bed this time? No, no, this is the shower. Uh, the bathroom. Uh, okay. Hmm. I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lie them out on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's my corkboard. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I swallow them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them throughout, 
In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thoughts as something small and swarming, like cockroaches. I, I guess so. You, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I mean, that works too. I don't mind either way. I don't even have time to th uh, I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts, they're fireflies now, start whirring all around the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings come from the ceiling uh, makes me start losing my patience. Enough, I hate you. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? No or yes. Uh... I'm gonna go with no. A lot of people act like this. <laughs> really? There's nothing shameful about snapping at someone if you have a reason for it. You did have a reason, didn't you? You'll surely get better, believe me. Now start over. Eh. You're at it again. What do you mean? <laughs> Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I've had a hard time without your help. Fine. I raised my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. Forget about them or go to bed or say nothing. Oh, she told me not to stay silent, so... No, you don't get it at all. If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thoughts or else... I glance around the room. There are too many places for the creatures as small as fireflies to hide. Here. <laughs> it could be anywhere. Suddenly, I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me, please? Tell you will. Tell me you will help me. Nothing. All right, come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking about lying on the floor? What do you... what do you mean? You should know it better than anything else. I mean, I am her brain, so... That would make sense, but apparently I don't know. That's the thing, I have no idea. It's weird. <laughs> you know, I think... yeah, we're going with that. Alright. Nothing? Will you tell me? I... Oh! Hi. That surprised me. Hmm. I, d I don't like that. I, I roll. I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes instantly. They're so itchy. Right, you 
Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Uh, okay, wow. Um, <laughs> my eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? Did you drink milk? Did he bring milk? Uh, I know I drank milk, so we'll... I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, will my eyes stop bitching? Please don't do that. I don't like that statement. <laughs> I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes. You're just gonna keep repeating that. I oh god. Stop. No. <laughs> Please. <laughs> no. What have you done? I need to gather the glass, and then, and then I need to have a bath, and then. Here, drink some milk. <laughs> no! Oh. Ooh, achievement unlocked. First death. Okay. I guess that was the game over that time. I do okay. Wow, that was that was so much worse than last time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, I stand in the middle of the room, my mouth agape, gasping for air. I think I experienced death. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, what, what other way to explain what happened. Uh, yeah, neither do I. Well, that was surely something. Well, you tell me, or not. About what? Let's look for the fireflies instead. Okay! I, what, what happened? I, that was so out of left field. I, I... Huh? Okay, well, this is even more confusing than the first game, because at least the first game we had an objective. Alright, well, let's look at the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. <laughs> I still have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 no. Hey, make up the smallest mess here. I'll feel really bad. And all the things should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? Are you trying to come up with a reason right now, or you don't have to tell me if you don't want to? Uh, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I I won't. All right then. We need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything, uh, even an inch. Yeah. My oh my. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point-and-click adventure game character. I, again, with the fourth wall breaking. It wasn't. It's not as bad as the first game, but at least... It, it, <laughs> I can't tell if that's better or worse. <laughs> you know, these games have moments when you just look at different objects and something and, uh, eventually happens. Inevitably happens. That sounds like so fun. It sounds so fun. So much fun. I'm still processing whatever the fuck just happened about five minutes ago, but, you know, I guess I'm glad you're over that trauma. And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. <laughs> Uh, this is so childish. And you want to know what the best part? Y you want to know what's the best part? It'll be the bone doing it. Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, yes. I start panicking as soon as I get into, uh, as soon as I get in a multiple choice situation. <laughs> I just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. You want that to happen? You're such a handful. <laughs> uh, 
you've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road or do what you want? Uh, let's go with this, this one. Come on, don't be so boring. I was just teasing you. I don't have to bear the whole burden. Asking for help is a reasonable decision, too. Let's begin already. I go into the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowie. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> it's smoke coming from your clothes. <laughs> It's wowie, 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 zowie. I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> oh, hey, we did find a firefly. That's nice. I like that. I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was in order, the firefly drifts up and circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. Hee <laughs> hee, tickles. One down, uh, let's look for the others. Yeah. Something gonna happen? To go. Oh, oh, it is a point and click. Oh, that's fun, I guess. I look up towards a very high place under my ceiling. I can hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. Oh, well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends with cockroaches. We better look somewhere else. Why would cockroaches be in there? Have you forgotten? You were the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yes, but... They became fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupied this place. Do you understand now? I do, I do, or I'll pretend I do. Oh, I do, I don't, or I pretend I'll do. I do. Uh, I do. I just don't want to. I don't want to see what the game over screen looks like. So, okay. Um, medicine cabinet. I tilt my head towards and almost. Uh, I tilt my head backwards and it almost falls over. The closest. Uh, the closet is hanging under the ceiling. That's a closet? Uh, then again, I'm pretty sure this game takes place in Japan, so I guess that's a Japanese closet. I hit my microphone. Good job, me. I tilt my head backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling at least 300 feet off the floor. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, not everything there. Not everything here is for me to use. Whatever. I don't care. I don't care at all. Like, totally, and i definitely not worried. It's not like you're worried. <laughs> not even the slightest bit. I'm very, very, very convinced that you are definitely concerned by looking at whatever weird-ass closet is hanging above your mirror sink. Uh, why is it so high? Not even the little, littlest bit. Not even the smidgen of littlest bit. Not even for the thousandths of a percent. That's how much I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. From this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh no, you don't. Then act normal. Okay, the 
radio. I got the alarm clock. Another radio. The thing? Question mark? Uh, plants? The uh, computer? Pills? Oh. Demon boxes. Uh, sleeping bag. Why do I have a sleeping bag? I thought that this was a room. Where's my bed? Am I not allowed to have a bed? Am I that poor? But I have a... I have a gaming laptop, so I can't be that poor. Umbrella. Wow, okay, there's a lot of things I can click on. Another ra How many radios do I have? Uh, some sort of... Am I, am I one of those guys that, like, operates, like, a ham radio from, like, the 1970s? Because I think it's fun and cool and quirky. Alright, um... Uh, you know, honestly, logically, it would probably be... One of them would be in the plant. Right. Insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I guess. I get close to the flower shelf. I sniff around, and the leaves smell of dust and cardboard. And death. Uh, it's probably a fake plant, then. Or, uh, or they're just dead. You know, that works, too. <laughs> You know these plants are so are long dead, all right. <laughs> I'm not sure a dead plant will be able to attract any insects. I mean, it could attract flies. Well, we don't have any. Uh, well, we don't. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know. Thank you, microphone, for making that hard to read. <laughs> Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. <laughs> Uh, why don't you just throw them out? Weren't you listening to me at all? <laughs> Alright. Alarm clock. Now look at the alarm clock. Time continues its unstoppable flow. It's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out a theatric yawn and hold my arms to the air. Oh, to the sides, sorry. Uh, one, two. Then I raise them above my head. Three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Uh, maybe you should just go to bed. Like, I, my brain, like brain's been telling you this whole time to do. You know, you, maybe you should listen. Good idea. Do you remember the exercises uh, you've been taught? Okay, well, I guess we're exercising. I think so. I take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together? Toes apart? Whatever. I'll go with that. Countdown. Uh, five minutes. Fine, you have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at its hands for too long. At first, I feel like there's... Uh, feel like they start moving in the wrong direction, and then they disappear altogether. And then things get all messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. But also, nice to hear voices uh, back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think. But a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess. Well, are you counting down? My god, finally. What do you mean? I was trying to get through uh, to you for half an hour. Huh? Forget it. You see the firefly? No. Let's continue searching then. Uh, gaming laptop. Or, uh, oh, vents. Map, vents, vents. It's not easy to get out of here, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, well, that... No, uh, that was that. <laughs> uh, uh, we're gonna save the demon boxes for last. Uh, let's go with this radio. Okay, the radio's just... Do all the radios just play different music?
Oh, this one's nice. All right, we're keeping this one on. <laughs> unless, unless the game just overrides it and plays creepy music anyways. All right, thank you, game. All right, I look at my laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust as thick as my finger. Man, you are not a good gamer. I tell you, tell, I tell you what. <laughs> real gamer had that laptop, that that thing would be covered in grease. Um, <laughs> a bizarre item. I fear it. <laughs> you know, probably for the better. <laughs> Why? That's a long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. Hmm. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here for... because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Sure, I spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. So much fun stuff to do. You have amusing hobbies. Yeah, I did before entering the web. Oh god, she found 4chan. <laughs> Imagine you're a hamster that lives underground. And you have everything for comfortable living. Did you imagine? As always, your analogies are spot on. Sure. <laughs> Okay, I imagined. <laughs> All right, you're a hamster underground that lives. Uh, you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living, okay? Okay. Wonderful. And here's the situation: you're a hamster that lives. Okay, I get it. Uh, do you want to talk about something else? Uh, yeah. Fine. You'll end up returning to the subject anyway. Uh, fine. Why not? Suddenly, a firefly slowly crawls out from the laptop's vent grill. I reach for it. It gets on top of my palm, uh, blinking all the while. Cool, we did find another firefly. I think it's trying to say something. I could see that myself. If only I knew what. <laughs> it looks like a cipher. Don't you want to crack it? I changed my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the firefly stops glowing for a moment after that. And then it starts glowing again, as if it's coming back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about the further course of action, and then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. Alright, so firefly number two. Uh, notes, toothbrush, medicine... Backpack, book, umbrella, fan, more things, paper on the wall, photos, question mark? Uh, photos, question mark. What are those? Uh, even I don't know, apparently. Ah, those. Those are my, oh, they are photos. Cool, I was right. All right, those are photos of my best memories. Uh, but they're blank. Oh, okay. I stared at them intensely, that I blurred them with my eyes, ee -hee. Now they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? But forget it, we'll continue the search on her blood. Mm, okay, we are. Cool. Uh, fan. Ee -hee. What's so funny about it? I imagine myself being a firefly that is looking straight at a giant fan. Uh, and? I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying, uh, from flying is a cage. It's locked in. And the cable. It's like an inmate, if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. Cool. Glad I found that humorous.
Uh, let's listen to some music. You know what? I think I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, backpack. <laughs> I look down, my school bag, worn down and silly, is almost screaming at its own uselessness. From another angle, it looks like, uh, full of Ellie. Its contents are also regurgitating, decomposing, and turning into its sticky, mushy substance. Ew. What a cool image. I need to remember this. Totally not cool, totally not cool, senseless and cruel. Uh, totally not cool, senseless and cruel. Alright, you are there, but I don't care. Is it me you're laughing at? What? I never. After all, you're not my pet. <laughs> I'm not going along with this nonsense anymore, got it? Good, got it. Hey, it wasn't on purpose this time. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special, mostly just all sorts of books. I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out of there. I'm not interested in anything else. Okay. You used to go to school, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understand my question? You think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're wrong. Alright, alright. What do you like the most there? Hmm. Well, the rooms are really bright and not like at home. That's it? Oh, don't rush me. Let me remember. Well, the beds were also soft and the food was nice. By the way, I attended all the classes, and the others always skipped. You probably got told off so hard. <laughs> I smile gently, absorbed in the warm memories. You never graduated, though. Yeah? Do you remember your last day there? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm... Already too old for this school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago, tasks were too easy. And we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner, and went to our rooms. What happened then? I guess that day was absolutely no special meaning to you. I don't remember, and it doesn't matter. Okay, tell me about it again. Good. I look at my bag again. Light pouring into the room through the window. Uh, glints on the metal parts. And there's also a shadow underneath it. Which means it's real, sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyways. <laughs> I almost ended up kicking the bag in a fit of sudden anger, but I managed to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. As already happened countless times. What do you mean you'll go blind? I spent months memorizing the location of every item in my room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You wouldn't get it. Look at your feet. I look down and see a small insect. It's crawling toward me from the bag. It's <coughs> barely glowing. It can't even fly. I guess it's the far firefly is really tired. I bend down to pick it up. The firefly starts glowing brightly as soon as I touch it, and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies towards, my, towards me at high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter in my ear. That's exactly what happens. After it gets inside, it buzzes for a little while, and then go silent. This one's kind of sad. I wonder why. Eh, it doesn't matter. What matters is there's... it's no longer alone. Sure, let's continue searching. 
cool. Uh, bookshelf, umbrella. Oh, we can look at the sleeping bag. I feel like we're actually unlocking more things to click on um, as time time goes on. So that's cool, I guess. Progression. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think we're just going to finish everything in this little area, and then we're going to move on to the meta, the sink area, and then we should be done. So that'll be fun. Uh, book. This is my sketchbook. Half of its pages are blank, which means it's still good for a couple of years. Cool. You're drawing that rarely? Why? Isn't it obvious if I run out of pages, I'll have to buy a new sketchbook? I can't go to the, uh, to the stationary store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. <laughs> you didn't realize what kind of nightmare that will turn that could turn into? I mean, considering it took you a lot to get milk, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I agree. Well, maybe you can ask your mom to buy you one. Or say nothing. Buy what? Ask whom? Can you even form coherent sentences? No, apparently. <laughs> Don't play dumb. Ask your mom to buy a sketch uh, to buy you a notebook instead. Instead, you want me to perform a string of actions, but you're also not telling me to do one instead of the other. Then how would I decide which action to take? You're dyslexic. <laughs> you're so dyslexic. Okay, funny. Man, you're a tough case. You lack empathy. Is that my fault? I get closer to the sketchbook. Stepping over the wires, uh, the sleeping bag, the cracks in the lamin uh, laminate, and the window's reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat and look at it again. All the legs are there. <laughs> Will I be able to think of an interesting allegory? Please don't. I don't want to go through Mile of Ice Cream again. <laughs> oh, let's not go there again. <laughs> even I do, even the brain doesn't want to go there again. <laughs> I stand up, uh, and suddenly the sketchbook, uh, from inches away. Its pages are pure, pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page, the way it should be. Too bad, I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. <laughs> Suddenly, a gust of chilly wind bursts into the room and makes the pages rustle. Oh no. I shut my eyes. A distinctive sound of pages turning echoes uh, with headache in my head. I don't know what's going to happen. The rustling has stopped. And even though the wind is still howling from every direction. I It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. I wait a little longer. The wind will close it. I won't have to look if I wait a little longer. I wait. Open your eyes. No. It's okay. Just do it. No way. I know you're lying. <laughs> Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No. Calm down. No, okay, we're stuck in the ooh, ooh loop again. I, okay. Just calm down. Oh, okay. Calm down. Calm down. Fine. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I open my eyes with the utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings. Nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know, did you? You're the smart one here. You tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you? I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Uh, don't make me do it. I'm scared. Trust me. The rustling grows louder, the pages lift up. I can almost see the outlines of drawings on previous pages. No way, everything... <laughs> everything that is in the past should stay in the past. 
you can't convince me. That's it. I'm closing my eyes. Look. Look there. A barely visible light seeps through the pages. With every new gust, it becomes brighter and brighter. A firefly. The wind immediately stops for a moment. The world sinks into a perfect silence, but only for a moment. The buzz that has always been haunting me fills the surroundings, but it doesn't matter now. <laughs> Goodness gracious, little boy. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. <laughs> you make me so scared. The firefly blinks, flies up, and enters my ear, buzzing loudly all the way. It spends some time... <sighs> Sorry, big yawn. Alright, it spent some time looking for the perfect spot uh, in my head, but then it buzzing dies down. Phew. Are you okay? We're running short on time. Let's continue searching. Finish searching. Okay. I guess I can't... Can I go through everything? Or, um... I kind of want to go through everything, though. All right, let's let's keep searching. Uh, let's finish finish this. Let's do the box. I doubt it. All the compartments are locked. What if or nothing? All right, I'll just say nothing. All right. Uh. Eehee, that's my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They'd want a deep dick in... <laughs> They'd want a deep... Oh my god, okay. they want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items. Close your eyes and then... Hey. Did you want to fall asleep? Huh? I gently slap my cheeks to return myself to my, to my senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a log at this time, but right now I can't. Let's continue searching. Hey, uh, maybe we'll find something inside. Nah. Maybe my thoughts don't have to be a feature of putting to sleep. Quite the contrary. They always cause insomnia. Just like tonight. Okay. Trash can... Umbrella. The umbrella emits a faint sense of coolness. No wonder it's the only thing that defends me against the thunderclouds that gather under my ceiling. It's such a blessing that it can do... that it can do it without my help. Still, the firefly won't be able to hide in a place like that. I could catch a cold... It would be un... It would... Oh, it will catch a cold. It'd be unable to fly. I don't have to... You, you don't want to check it? Alright, let's continue searching. You don't want to check it? Why? Well, I'm sure I won't find anything there. Okay. Uh... Notes. Your usual notebook pages glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn in them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> I thought you knew them by heart. Yeah. This is not in your handwriting, isn't it? Of course it's not. Shaky and broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not writing, it's more like claw marks. Don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. <laughs> My screams make the pages rustle. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a business-like manner, it takes off into the business <laughs> into a business-like flight. 
and ends up entering my business-like ear. <laughs> hey. Let's continue searching. Alright, uh, toothbrush. I turn my eyes towards an inconsequential... Uh, on, oh, sorry. I turn my eyes towards an inconscientious shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it and a small towel that is hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. <laughs> they, they know about personal hygiene. Okay, well, let's look somewhere else. Cool. Uh, the pills. I look at the mound of pills and it makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless. I could have died. Hey, come down. You already fixed that. You ultimately die anyway, so I... So, so what's wrong? <laughs> okay. Well, fair enough. Yes, because you ordered me to. Is that an accusation? Things could have been much worse. Things could have been much worse. Yeah. I have a deep sigh and come closer and extend my hand. <laughs> wow, it's warm. The moment the words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns, pills rain from it, and along with them, a firefly, hurry. <laughs> After circling my head a couple of times, it finally lands on my palm. The firefly rushes up to my arm and, upon reaching my shoulder, crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clearer. Cool. So, I believe we are left with just the trash can and the demon boxes, and of course the radios that we can listen to music on. Okay, uh, yeah. Alright, trash can. I get close to the waste bin and look inside with curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly would hide in a heap of garbage. Couldn't disagree with you on that. Cool. All right. Uh, demon boxes. Let's go. Oh. Okay, I just straight up can't click on that. Okay, I guess I'm done searching. <laughs> I threw everything. A true completionist run. You found all the fireflies. Amazing. Good job, me. I feel like uh, that's quite an achievement. I guess. <laughs> Alright. I've managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? If I lose something and then find it, it's just going to go... It's just going back to the starting point. No change at all. Zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much about it. You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. Okay. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? I'll go to the balcony and breathe in some air. Somehow, these words triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously start... step away from the balcony. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? It may sound silly, but... I feel like someone is watching me. Alright, stay here. There's no way somebody cares that much about you. Uh... Let's stay here. Yeah. What are you going to what are you going to do? That's just a silly question. I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. I imagine myself to be outside of my mortal shell. But at the same time, still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside a bag of milk, and yet. And yet. You don't have to talk out loud for me to understand what you're worried about. 
Sorry, you don't have to talk out loud to understand that you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill? <laughs> of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. And the day after tomorrow. Never ever. Then that's a goodbye then. <laughs> No. I have one more small favor to ask. A really small one. What is it? I've blurted out way too much today. A lot of stuff I want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but... Was it... Was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No... I wouldn't be able to sleep like this. Fine. What's the favor? I, um... I nervously scratch my wrists and bite my lower lip. Wait a minute, you're afraid to tell me? Yes. I'm almost scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop, I, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. No, you. I crawl into my sleeping bag. The lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in the blankets, even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dreams just won't come anymore. You wouldn't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know, it was a joke. Well, anyway, I wash my face, brush my teeth, lie down, and start imagining that I'm watching a dream. I don't sleep at all, of course, and always look sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters floating in the air, strange silhouettes that appear in the most unexpected places, bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. I was always scary, you know. <laughs> And then, one day, I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then the silhouettes, letters, and eyes were hanging around me and hissing. It was horrible. And, well, deserved, I guess. I felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, it felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, letters, and eyes stayed here. I guess they like this place. They always follow me in my wake, peeping at me. And I'm kind of scared of them. I can't even argue with them. But today... Today... Well... I... Still too scared to tell me? Of course. They're listening, you know. Use your hands. Alright. I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm, forming complex shapes. <laughs> you want me to tell you a bedtime story? I was trying so hard. Don't you get it? They'll hear you. Relax. Nobody can hear you. So what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. 
Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly. Eh, it's not. And meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to realize what, that we'll just end up wasting time. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. <laughs> Fine. Close your eyes. <laughs> it's the first game! Again?! I wake up on a wooden bench. In front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley. An awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Oh, is it perhaps the road that you took to go get milk? Finally. Oh, hi. Demon Boy. I don't like Demon Boy. <laughs> I hear voices come from the alley. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, my God. I, I, Demon Boy looks even worse somehow. <laughs> You're late. Um, who are you? <laughs> and the boy blinks in bewilderment. We're not going anywhere like this. Try again. <laughs> Then he talks... Then he takes a very deep breath. <laughs> you are late. I stare at him confused. He stares back, also confused. Sorry? The boy nods, satisfied. See? Much better. Do you have a name? My name's... Tresca. <laughs> I give the brat a... In Evaluating look. He's so young, yet already coming at me with questions like that. None of your business. And besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here besides me. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know, for one. About what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Thresca says that... Thresca says that and starts... Strikes a victory pose. No way. I'm doing that. You do understand that refusal is fr futile. 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 I can't say that word for some reason. Alright. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? He's weird. Constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, loudness, and silence. He's a wacko. And his name is stupid. His name sounds Russian, so... I agree with that. <laughs> Are you going or what? <laughs> Sorry, are we going or what? Sorry. Uh, you can go. Uh, I need to think. <laughs> I'd be happy to, but... I don't know the way. <laughs> Thresca puts on a cutting smile. I bite my lower lip in frustration. I'll be honest with you, I don't like you. <laughs> he simply bursts out laughing in reply. <laughs> I do like you, though. He grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to report, uh, to retort. Lead the way. Our trip to the store was fine, if not for the fact that Thretska was walking way faster than me. And on the other hand, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying the ground underneath his feet. In the end, the trip uh, took a lot longer than it should. 
after reaching the store's doors, we're greeted by a sign. We're closing in 20 minutes. Oh, that is... Is that Skrillic? Oh, that is weird. Okay. Oh, that's completely wrong about where this game takes place. <laughs> this is Russian. <laughs> it's Russian anime. <laughs> Who had the bright idea to indicate their working hours in this way? They probably have special staff for this. Someone who runs to change the sign every five minutes. It's convenient. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. You're it's much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. <laughs> and what's your name? None of your business. <laughs> I was ready to slap the living hell out of the brat. But a scary looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's holding up a cardboard sign that says we're closing in 15 minutes. Let's, let's go. Uh, what are you waiting for? Huh? Oh, yeah. After another round of going across the long row of canned products, we realized that we're lost. <laughs> I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I, um... Maybe we should ask somebody for directions. Sure. Hey, wait up. <laughs> Fresca. Let's go with my hand and walks confidently towards one of the few store's customers. That person is standing with her back to us, studying something on the shelf. Hello, can I... I can't hear neither the second part of his question nor the reply he gets, but my good-for-nothing friend freezes in place, looking the customer straight in the face. I hurry towards them. Is he yours? The customer talks to me. He speaks with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. I, uh... If he's yours, uh, please get him away from me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry. I grab Trisco's hand and lead him away. He's still looking at the customer, his mouth ajar, his eyes popped. He's also shaking. Trisco's having a drug trip. Um, fun. <laughs> Only when we turn around the corner, Tretzka calms down. What was that? I, I got scared, he said. What? Not again. Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? Y you don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. Annoying that the people was wrong, though. This is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. Sniff. Who, me? Tresca pushes away from me and runs off. At the edge of my vision, I see the store's staff hanging a new sign on the door. There you are. I meet Thretzka at the cash register right before... Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey, you, move. I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of a long queue that has formed Thres after Thretzka. I squeeze through uh, toward him. What happened? The boy doesn't respond. He looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him home next time. People in the queue nod in agreement. Pay for the goods, please. Uh, yeah, yes, of course. And the waiting fee. What? <laughs> you heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Tarska just starts giggling all of a sudden. And for the fact that your son is a retard, too. <laughs> okay. That's kind of mean. That's pretty mean. Rush Russian cashiers have no chill, apparently. But... You heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw a blank note at the cashier of much higher volume needed. 
even can't, counting all the stupid fees, then grab the bag of milk and turn around on my heels. We're leaving Kretzka. We spent the whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right towards a gas station. There, Tretzka finally breaks the silence. Do you like ice cream? Oh god, we're going- oh, we're going through this again. <laughs> no. Okay. I look at the boy's face. Light flickers in his eyes for a brief moment and then goes out. You know, he turns away from the path and walks straight towards the highway with determination. I stare at his back, confused. Tretzka, uh, your neck's not supposed to bend that way. <laughs> it seems like you're not helping me at all. Oh. Okay. Oh god, is this the first... Uh, so... Uh, this is kind of interesting. It's like the first game, except we're, like... Like... Okay, so here's what I'm gathering from this. This is basically just re retelling the, the story of the first game, except in this time, or except this time, we are being assisted, we're assisting a young boy to the store. Uh, last time when we were going to the store, we were essentially being assisted by our brain. So I feel like it's like we're playing the role of our brain this time. So. That's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, I think we're about to get a game over. I think Tresco's about to run into the highway and kill himself, because, uh, yeah, funny. Uh, d d <laughs> a new playful light flickers in Tresco's eyes. Oh. Milk Outside a Bag of Milk Outside a Bag of Milk, a game by Nikita Koryukovic. Uh, Kiryukovkov. Kirokov? Kirokov. Alright, well, that was Milk Outside a Bag of Milk Outside a Bag of Milk. Um, that was. Actually, I liked that a lot. Um, I liked it a lot more than the uh, first game. I, I liked the throwback to the, the first game at the end, though. That was kind of cool. And, um,. Uh, there was a lot of uh, animation there, and uh, the overall, like, pixel art was better in this one, so... You know, I, I really enjoyed it, and it, it was a little bit easier, well, debatably easier to follow, so... <laughs> at least there was that, uh, and we got to see Bob again, so that was fun, uh, but she wasn't at the end of the game this time, so... It made the ending a little bit more enjoyable, so... You know, you win some, you lose some, so... <laughs> Alright, uh... Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this, uh, please consider subscribing and liking, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, as long as there is no extra endings that I am forgetting. Hey guys, Future Agent here. So apparently this game actually has five endings, so uh, in an effort to not make this game like three hours long, uh, I'm actually going to be splitting it into two parts. Uh, this part ends here. And uh, if you guys want to see the other endings, then uh, you better like and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, you're going to miss out. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll keep you posted. <laughs>